I'm going to show you how to set a VGT gear in an HE300 VG. I'll also quickly show you how to do it in a VE as well, which is the 2007 to 2012 model. This video is on the 2013 to 2018 model. It also might apply to the 5th gen too, I'm not really sure. I made this tool for this process. So the little nub here is about almost five millimeters. Some of my employees use an Allen key. I just made this because I wanted it to be as close as possible. The Allen key probably does work. The way it works on the VG model is you push it all the way in. The way it works on the VE model is it actually comes all the way out, but you need the exhaust housing mounted because it uses these little pegs right here where it bottoms out. You can see one right there. It's a lot clearer to see that. So here's how we'll do it on the VE. You push the vein all the way in. You put a feeler gauge of 25 thousandths underneath, or you could also use a razor blade because they're 25 thousandths. Then you take all the internal parts and you slide them all the way down. You slide this all the way down on the razor blade. Then you put this piece in inside the hole where it goes inside the bearing housing and inside of this gear here. So all that's locked in. This is all the way over. Razor blades underneath, this is all the way down. The internal pieces are all the way down. And then you tighten the bolt that is behind this plate. And once that's tight, then it's set properly. And that's how you set the gear for the 300 VG. For the VE model, it's different because everything is all the way out. And then you have the pin in, all that stuff as well, and all the way down, all that. Here are the internal pieces for the VE model here. This is the parts that I was talking about that goes all the way over. And the VGT gear goes all the way in that. Slop in between the blocks so it moves across like this a lot, which will throw off your clearance between this and the bearing housing if you have that mounted all the way over in one direction. So if you have it all the way over this way, you're putting it at the maximum distance that it can move over because once you tighten that down, you have a lot of movement free play in it that moves in and out. So what you're trying to avoid here is you're trying to avoid this bottoming out on the bearing housing. This right here is what I'm trying to avoid. I don't want this to touch the bearing housing or have the ability to touch the bearing housing. So when I push everything down, all the internals down, then put the razor blade underneath, it allows me to have that clearance still after, still after I tighten that down. So that's the proper way of doing it. So if you wanted to check yours, you're not sure if yours was ever done properly and you did the rebuild on it or somebody messed with it, bring it all the way over, make sure that's all the way in, and then take your feeler gauge and measure underneath and then put your pin or your Allen key, your five millimeter Allen key in and make sure that it all lines up. Then you know it's right. This is a 300 VG cartridge and this is the VE model. The way to set the VE one, there's a dowel right there where you retract it all the way over and then put the pin in and you still put the razor blade in and have everything come down. On the other side, you'll see that this little dowel right here is about a tooth over so the way that the ve model gets done is you once this is all set properly you move this over to that location and then so it's about a tooth over to the right you cycle the gear for the actuator and then you install the actuator on the vg model you move this all the way to the retracted position. This one, it bottoms out on the little ring in the turbine housing to be able to set this properly because it's all the way over here. On the VG model, it's all the way retracted. So you can do it without the turbine housing. You just move it all the way to the right and then set it. On these two actuators, the you'll notice that this one's taller and this one is a little shorter. If you go to put this on the VE model, it supposedly bottoms out. I had a customer that had that problem because I didn't realize that it really mattered. So he had to like cut this down and all that stuff. So just try to avoid using the VE actuator on the VG gear.